This demonstration shows you how you can use Manage Sub Inventories and Locators on redesigned pages to enhance your business. Let's start the demonstration. We will first have a look at the opt in required to be enabled to use the feature Manage Sub Inventories and Locators on redesigned pages. Go to the Navigator. Click My Enterprises and select the Setup and Maintenance Work area. Select the Offering Manufacturing and Supply Chain Materials Management. Go to the Inventory Management Functional Area. On the Functional Area Inventory Management, click the Actions drop-down icon. Click the Action View Feature Selection. The Edit Features page opens. You can see that the opt-in feature Manage Sub Inventories and Locators on Redesigned Pages is enabled. Click the Done button to exit the page. Now that we have seen the opt-in setup, we will proceed to access the new redesigned pages using the Task Configure Sub Inventories. Click the Task Configure Sub Inventories. Sub Inventories page opens. You can search for a sub-inventory or create new sub-inventory or update an existing sub-inventory. We will now create a new sub-inventory. Click the Create New Sub-Inventory button. The new sub-inventory page opens. Enter the attributes required to define the sub-inventory. Enter the sub-inventory name and description. Select the checkbox to make it a locator controlled sub inventory. Select other locator related attributes. Click the submit and close button to complete the creation of the sub inventory. A toast message is displayed that the sub inventory is created. We can see the newly created sub inventory on the top of the table. We may also search for the newly created sub-inventory on the search bar. Sub-inventory is displayed as the search results in the area below. You may choose to view the details by clicking the hyperlink on the sub-inventory name. The sub-inventory details page shows all the details associated with the sub-inventory like sub-inventory attributes. You can see more of them by clicking on the More Information. You can also create a new locator or associate items with a sub-inventory. Click the Create Locator button to create locators in the sub-inventory. The new locator page opens. Enter the locator segments and other parameters to define the locator in the sub-inventory. Organization and sub-inventory information can be seen in the header region. Click the Submit and Close button to complete the creation of the locator. Toast message tells us that the locator is created. Click the Associated Items tab on the page. On the Associated Items tab you can view all the items associated with the sub-inventory. Click the Associate Item button to associate item with the sub-inventory. Associate Item with Sub-inventory page opens and you could enter the item details. Select the Inventory Planning method and set other details. Click the Submit and Close button to complete the association of the item with the sub-inventory. A toast message appears that the item is associated. Once we have associated item with the sub-inventory, now we will associate item with the locator by going to the Locators tab. In the Locators tab, click the Locator hyperlink. The Locator Details page opens and here click the Associate Item button to associate item with the locator. 
and to the item, which should already be associated with the sub-inventory as a prerequisite, and other details. Click the Submit and Close button to complete the association of item with the locator. A toast message displays the item association confirmation. Use the back button to exit the page. Use the back button to exit the page. We are able to create the sub inventory, query the sub inventory, create the locator and associate item with the sub inventory and locator. This concludes the demonstration.